Now I have 10 people. Now we'll be doing one people. Keep coming. Then church was so happy because now they are having more members in the church. So then they asked me to do another class Monday night. Now I did both classes nine years. So living in the family, husband and wife, two children. So going to school, that's it. So nine years later, church said all the members who come to the temple, most of them joining with you now. We don't get enough money, enough funds, less donation. We can run the building. So we decided to move away and to buy a small place. And how about if you buy this building? Then I said, I'm very sorry, it's very expensive for me. It's a big church, 110 years old. And next door, there's another two-story house. I said, no. Then they gave me a very cheap price. It's like a piece of cake. Just gave me free energy. So I go to the church with all the members. Now all the people who came to the church, they are Buddhist practitioners, they are part of the Buddhist teaching. And now if somebody comes to the Guru uh, Lotus Temple, you can see something beautiful, combination. One side, 13 feet tall Jesus standing, other side, 9 feet tall Buddha standing. That is the name of the rule of the temple. Why I didn't change anything? Because I would respect that community, their arts, their cultural background. So if I uh, destroy them, that's not the Buddhist teaching, that's not love and compassion. So now we have over 1,500 families come to the rule of the temple. Now we have 384 meditation classes per year. So 384 means love. And just one more meditation classes per year. And also we have so many retreats, youth activities, uh, kids, people to do the kids, activities and counseling, so many different programs. So now I'm traveling around the world. We have four monastic and uh, three Buddhist monks and one Buddhist nun, including me, five of them. Uh, we work together. Uh, in that beautiful building. Now I'm traveling and sharing and adding all over the world. So uh, now again I feel I'm homeless and because uh, I wake up in one place and eat in another place, sleep in another place. Uh, it is very interesting and same time today I feel kind of tired <laughs> this morning uh, because I'm always moving around. So anyway, today you all are here to uh, learn and feel something beautiful about the uh, human being. So today I feel you all are my heroes. Why? Today is a working day. Uh, maybe you woke up early morning, go to work, and maybe busy at the office, and driving home middle of the uh, traffic, and so then you came home, and going to dinner, and you were thinking I would go to temple to participate in this special meditation program. So, if you were at home, you can enjoy your time. You can lay on the spa, you know, the sofa, and so you can watch in the television, and you can play a game or do something in the evening to relax yourself. But you decided to renounce you decided to renounce. The renunciation is so difficult, even for a while. That's why I said, you all are my heroes this evening. So I'm really sure these are the not only the only members of this beautiful temple. I'm glad all are not, not here. And so some people are here, otherwise we don't have enough space. Um, so could you please uh, watch those candles, otherwise it's a fire, sir. Um, 